Hey dolls! I got a ton of requests to do an updated what's in my purse video featuring a clear bag. I know a lot of people aren't really used to having their things seen by the public inside their purse and let's be honest half the reason that I wanted to get a clear bag in the first place is um, to force myself to be a little bit neater with the inside of my bag because by the end of the week like my bag is a garbage dump. I literally throw everything. I mean you can see it's kind of already starting but <laughs> but that's the back. No one sees that. Nobody cares. Anyway so I did want to get a clear bag this one is actually from the Trisha Paytas Glitter Bitch Box. However, you can find the exact same bag on AliExpress for literally $12 or $13. So if you want to get your hands on this, I will leave the link down below. So then you don't have to spend like $60 on the full subscription box just to get this cute little purse. You can just buy it directly off of a different website. So yes, I guess without further ado, before we get into this though, I did want to mention I put a fake septum ring piercing thing in. No, I did not get it pierced. No, I do not plan to get it pierced. I'm just playing around with this one. This is the first time I've worn it in an actual video. Usually I just take photos with it in, but I think it looks kind of cool. Anyway, let me know if, what you think down below. So now we can get into the purse. So as you can see, I'll start off on the outside. I just have this pom-pom on here. You can get these all over the place. I think I got this one at either Walmart or Michaels, but they have them all over. And then I have a little Bath and Body Works unicorn hand sanitizer holder that my sister gifted me for my birthday last year. So in the back, I just have some handy wipes kind of thrown in there. When we go to restaurants and they give them out, I kind of like to steal a couple and just keep them in my bag because I'm a huge klutz. I make messes all the time. So just having a couple of these in my bag really, really helps. So those are what you saw kind of thrown in the back of the purse along with a little pack of extra polar ice gum. This is just kind of thrown in there. I'll go through kind of the front first and then I'll work towards the back. So first and foremost, obviously, is my phone. Most of the time this will be in my pocket instead of my purse, but of course I had to mention it. Uh, this case I actually made on the Casetify website. It is just a custom little collage case of my fiance and I when we went to Disneyland and then I custom made this pop socket as well. I just uploaded my photo of the castle onto the pop sockets website and then had it uh, made. Next up we have my wallet and this is my Payless Christian Sirianu wallet. I did get the purse that matches this but I did recently sell it on my Poshmark but I love the little wallet. It's so cute. I cannot part with the wallet and it looks so adorable with this purse. It just complements it so beautifully. So that is in there. And then in here I also have the little foldable wallet that came with the glitter bitch box. I haven't put anything in it just yet. I'm not sure what I want to do with it. I just think it's cute to like see it through the window of the purse because it's so sparkly and glittery and just adorable. So I haven't quite decided what to do with this. If you guys have any ideas at all go ahead and let me know down below. I thought about just like putting some like business cards in it or something and then like they're a little bit more accessible when I'm handing them out in public but I don't know let me know what you guys think down below then I have some sunglasses I think I got these at Burlington Coat Factory like five ten years ago <laughs> It was like forever ago, but they're cute and these are the ones that I have been rocking lately. I have my keys, which you guys have seen these before. This is my Disney dog and cat's lanyard. So on one side you can see it has Disney dogs and on the other it has kitty cats. And this is from Disneyland. I think you can still get this on the Shop Disney website. It's just shopdisney.com. Just search like Disney dogs lanyard or something like that. It should pop right Right up but then I have my keys on here and I love my little Marie little key holder thing uh, someone had actually sent this to me in a Prezi mail once to my PO box so that is where that is from and yes my house key is pink <laughs> uh, but yeah there are my keys we have some my little pony tissues in here these are actually from Dollar Tree 
I have a scrunchie. This one is from Hot Topic, but I always like to keep a scrunchie in my purse just in case I have to put my hair up. Then we have a lotion, and this one is a Rilakkuma Nourishing Hand Cream. I work at a bakery, and I am constantly washing dishes, so my hands dry out super fast, and they get all cracky and gross, so I love to keep a lotion in my bag, so I'm just using this one right now. Then we have my charger. This is my portable charger I got when I was in California at, in the Irvine Spectrum Center. They have this shop called Mini So. I think that's what it's called. And this is just a super cute pink portable charger for your phone. It has two USB ports and it just looks like so. This is my cord that I plugged into it, but I like to keep this with me wherever I go. I also do have my battery case, but sometimes I just don't like to wear that on my phone because it's big and bulky, and sometimes it doesn't match my outfits, so I will just carry this with me. Plus, it looks cute when it's in the side of the purse as well. And I have a pin, and this one is Cinderella. Cinderella, 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 Cinderella. And it's just cute. Got a little pink cap on there. We have a fan. Because it is summertime, I like to carry a fan with me. I don't typically carry this with me all year round, but this is just basically for summer. I got this at Dollar Tree quite a few years ago. It's very nice to have on those hot summer days, let me tell you. My headphones. And I have one of those little headphone uh, grabbers connect... What, what do you call this? Headphone uh, grippers... Uh, organizers. I don't really know what you call these, but this one is Marie, and you can get these on various websites such as eBay and AliExpress. And then the last thing in here is the little uh, makeup bag that came with the purse. This is the Glitter Bitch box bag that came with the purse itself but when you order this purse on aliexpress or wherever else it does come one of the with one of these except it just doesn't have that logo on it it is just plain and what i really love about this is if you wanted to you can detach this outer strap right here for this purse and put it on here so if you wanted to carry this individually by itself as a little crossbody and you wanted to downsize for the day or something like that that is definitely an option and it is really cool and here I have my birth control pills, my, uh, I get really bad canker sores in my mouth like all the time. Like I have three of them right now and they're just atrocious. So I have this Origel Maximum Toothache Swabs and they're just little swabs filled with like this gel or ointment and you just swab it on your sores and it relieves the pain for a few minutes. So when I go out and stuff I can eat, <laughs> but otherwise I don't typically carry this with me only if I do have sores in my mouth, which I do currently. So that's why you're seeing it right now. I have some business cards in here. What used to be a Marie pill container, but this thing has seen some better days. I tell you what, I got this off of eBay. So I just carry some Aleve and like Tums and things like that in here. But yeah, this, this thing has seen some better days. It's not so much Marie anymore. It's kind of like one eye Marie or something. Oh, hey, look, we have another wet nap. Oh, I have a random like little uh, Instax Polaroid photo of my fiance and I that is like way too dark. <laughs> That's just randomly in there. I have one of the little Dossier perfumes. I did a full video all about Dossier perfumes. Basically, they are a company that specializes in their own versions of high-end perfumes at a lower cost. So literally, you can get like their version of like Chanel number no. 5 for like $30. It is amazing. I love it so much. So I like to carry one of the little roller balls with me in my bag for some touch-ups. But I love the Dossier perfume so much. This one is the Oriental Floral One. This is my favorite scent that I've tried so far. It is so, so like refreshing and beautiful. Next, we have a compact mirror. It's a Corilla Kuma one and it is just all glittery and pretty, and it is one of the ones that has kind of a more macro view on one, so kind of close up, and then the other one is more like standard. And I think I got this off of the Mary Bear Shop website, so I will link this down below as well. And I think that's where the Rilakkuma uh, lotion came from also. Next up, we have a little mini nail file that again has seen better days, some tweezers, I think these are just some Revlon ones or something, 
thing. I have a bobby pin. And then for makeup products that I carry with me, lately I've only been carrying a few or just a couple. I have my Esquito Companion Eyelash Glue. This is my favorite eyelash glue I've ever used on the face of the planet. Um, it is spelled E S. Q-I-D-O and you can get this on the Esquito website or you can also get it on eBay kind of at a little discounted price sometimes brand new still in the packaging and everything just a little bit cheaper and so love this have to take that with me wherever I go because I'm always wearing my falsies and then for lip products I just carry with me my dose of colors liquid lipstick in the shade rosebud ironically I'm not wearing it right now but I still love this as one of my favorite shades ever it's my go-to I always throw it in my purse amazing and then I just have a baby lips in here and this one is the crystal one in the shade or scent pink quartz and I just like to use these two together to kind of moisturize my lips because as you guys know matte liquid lips definitely dry your lips out so it's nice to have that little moisturizer with me all the time and so yes that is everything that is in my clear bag i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and remember that i will leave the direct link to this bag in the description box below if you do decide to get it let me know they do have a few different color options as well not just pink with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go and i will talk to you all in my next video so until then so long stay strong stay true and be you all right bye